Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna take a close look at a drivetrain of this WL Toys A979B. This is the upgraded version, the one that is claimed to hit 70 kilometers per hour, which is quite fast. So let's see what we have under the hood. I already disassembled most of it because I had an ESC burnout. Uh, so I will be replacing the electronic speed control and most likely doing a brushless motor upgrade. But that's still kind of up in the air. Uh, you know, I'd really appreciate if you guys put in the comments below if you want to see me put in another brushed ESC into this or a complete 10th uh, scale brushless system. It looks like right now I'm going to be going with a brushless motor only because I already have an electronic speed control. I just need to get like any cheap 540 size brushless motor and put it in here. I could probably pick it up for $15, which is a bargain. All right, so this is what it looks like. We have the complete chassis right here. So there's a lot of issues you could read up online and people saying comments that these things break, the diffs are terrible. Well, I'll tell you this, it's honestly kind of robust. You could tell you have a full metal drive set here. You have metal metal out drives, you have uh, metal dog bones, you even have a pretty solid looking metal center drive shaft right here, look at that, and it is supported with bearings, which is really nice actually. So a lot of these cheaper kits, especially under 100 bucks, they have bushings. This has bearings, really nice touch guys. But look at this giant pinion gear. This is probably the largest pinion gear I think I've ever seen in an RC car. Usually you go up to about, you know, 23 teeth and that is considered huge. This is enormous. I don't even know what it is. I'm not gonna count it, but it looks huge. Um, the motor is mounted pretty straightforward. You just have four motor screws on the bottom. I already removed them just to make this video faster. So let's uh, take the motor out and see what it looks like uh, throughout the rest of the chassis. So there it is, standard motor mount. This is a regular 540 motor, as I said before. Um, you have a distance of one inch between the center mounting holes, so you can stick any 540 size motor. That's a standard uh, amount of space there. Interesting, actually, this says uh, 7916. So I bought this RC about a year ago. So it looks like the motor was manufactured a year before I actually purchased it. I've never seen that before. It doesn't say the amount of turns, but it's fairly fast. I probably would suspect that this really is kind of a stock motor. Although, as I said before, you have this giant pinion, which is really where it's getting all of its speed from. So the drivetrain here is kind of close to one to one. Look at that ratio of the spur gear to the pinion. It's pretty much close to one to one. So the closer you get that one to one ratio, you do have a much faster RC car. And that's what we have here. So now let's take a look at the differential. Uh, we just have two screws here. I'm gonna undo these screws and we'll take a look at the diff gears inside. Okay, here we go guys. So yeah, we have plastic gears throughout here, which you know is to be expected, but I'm a little bit surprised that they included the plastic gears instead of metal because like the whole drivetrain is metal. So they really went the extra mile for the presentation on you know what we can see on the exterior, but inside here you just have regular plastic gears. Uh, and once again, it is supported with uh, bearings throughout the whole drivetrain, which is really nice. Even here where you can't see the bearings, they chose to put the bearings in. So the drivetrain is actually pretty fluid. With the motor removed from the car, the wheels spin pretty effortlessly. There's almost no binding. You see that if I spin one, they all have a pretty good amount of momentum as you're driving, which is really nice. That's what you want to see. There's really minimal binding here. Another nice touch on this model is the fact that it actually does have oil filled shocks. Now I will tell you they are pretty terrible. So I did add oil into these earlier and look at that rebound weight. It is pretty horrible, but you know what? It's a lot better than not having any oil filled shocks. And you know what? I have pretty thick viscosity oil in here. This is a hundred weight oil in here and it is still kind of really bad. It is not as bad as it was from the factory. There was no oil in here at all. Uh, it was basically dry, but you know what? These shocks do hold oil and none of it has leaked out. The chassis itself is extremely flexible. I mean, look at that chassis flex. And yeah, I do have the upper deck disconnected right now, but even when I had it screwed in, the quality of the plastic is just so flimsy that, you know, it does have a lot of play, which really isn't the end of the world. That is kind of what you would want from a beginner remote control car because it will take a lot of damage upon impact. So that's nice to see. Okay, so there it is guys, a kind of a close look under the hood of this RC, so I'd really appreciate it if you would put it down in the comments below whether you want to see me just put another uh, brushed ESC in here or do a full 540 brushless system upgrade. Thanks so much for watching, till next time.